Today we finished service for Audi A67. Last uh, video we changed thermostat because uh, was a issue about no overheat, no heat. This is no good for DPF. I'll try to explain you on the future. Uh, today we change oil filter oil and uh, fuel filter. We try to flush and uh, we have VCDS, we check the code, we check everything what should be checked and as well we burn DPF, we use VCDS before we change oil, so enjoy and watch. Okay, we check auto scan and we check code, any it's wrong for car, we start, press start, so keep going like you see here but I'm seeing two code quite interesting we see what's happened so I come back when finish because this is a couple of minutes okay, we have code for engine and uh, ABS what we'll start first Throttle valve. So it's um, we try to delay this code because maybe <coughs> last weekend I'm changed thermostat and I'm take out throttle valve. That why code. We see if we clean, clean, and gone, and we see later on. It's code clean, no fault code. This means it's good, no comeback, maybe wires, plaque or something wrong was last time. And we check next, ABS. So okay, tiles, pressure warning, this means it's uh, last time I have light on the bus, uh, so quite interesting. Oh. So delayed this code because this is old code about pressure. And start check the forehead thing. Okay guys, we come to engine, we check uh, quantum deviation fuel injector. We put on quantum deviation, injector quantum deviation, and we see how it fuel injector engine quite hot, so should be all right. So quantum deviation on. So one time on the else I'm like check uh, fuel injector, injector quantum deviation. Like you see, it's close, very close to zero minus fourteen seventeen minus zero point minus. 10, 0 0.10 this is very good like I'm saying before if you have 2 point or minus 2 it is quite bad so but this one it's very good and we start burn DPF all right if you want to come to basic setting you need first security code like you see guys basic setting this is 27971 so we press do it so it's accept basic setting if dpf service regeneration per pre filter Service regeneration per the pre filter. You choose service regeneration per the pre filter. So we press go. So and now it's read the message like you see it uh, must stop and the engine and start again. So we do it, we do that. So one more time. 
error so sometimes you need to uh, switch off the engine start on again because life it's life um, no always perfect so and if you watch and guys do everything as well it's cut and do video like you like to see I don't like lie so I'm show you guys it's this is possibility it's something happened wrong and you need to do again 27871 do it accept basic setting filter regeneration filters service <coughs> go operation brakes pedal and clutch pedals now it's press gas full uh, so it's start burn it's good and we come to check every details and so what that information tell to us like you see it's DPF start burn and uh, RPM go up like you see it's 92 uh, Celsius for cooling system this means it's good and have a look it's it's 90 all the time this is very important because if come lower your DPF may be no full and no good process come for burn for clean next one it's 18 gram counting suit no pressure pressure Hetto Pascal this is DPF pressure remember it's here it's RPM up so it's uh, here it's pressure as well quite high 17 we see when finish this is important uh, should be finish four five that be good um, suit count on suit it's 19 and 11 measure suit so it's quite good and temperature exhaust it's 553 celsius and another one 624 this means it's good that good temperature burn dpf should be like that maybe more should be no less it's 600 or 500 it's bad so as well you look guys what temperatures in in exhaust in dpf 600 over 600 is absolutely great last time Seat alhambra had uh, 750 this is very very high first time i'm c750 but possibility is this is happen old process should be finish uh, we don't touch nothing at this moment like you see pedals no pedals i don't touch and i'm wait when here say finish wait and hit the engine up and looks for the number so okay it's uh, when your dpf normal burn always fun work and now as well fun work it's very nice blow here and cool down dpf but we still wait for finished process so like you see the path nice burn temperature cooling it's uh, after change thermostat it's very nice and keep high this is very good temperature exhaust it's over 600 should be like that very nice and we have to wait when suit come down so okay guys i think it's some process finish because engine change the noise to more brrr. so like you see still uh, rpm up spring on but you look guys for temperature go very very down and we wait when say finish okay guys like you see it's process end because rpm go down mm, temperature all keep 90 so thermostat absolutely great work 
pressure it's uh, zero one this is absolutely great if before or uh, something that as well it's good uh, should uh, go down to five this is absolutely great uh, should be that numbers temperature go down this means it's dpf finish burn so we come off All right, guys, close the hood, drive on the ramp, and replace oil filter and oil. Last week, replaced the cabin filter and air filter. We don't need to do this. And we have a fuel filter as well. So, a good work. so it's plug on so maybe I'm switch off that way mm, wrong code but delayed and no problem thermostat last week we replaced so it's no leaking and nothing this moment it's no full because we are on the ramp and now if you have uh, manual Audi A6 or whatever what Volkswagen you have uh, Skoda, Seat that engine and you have manual you have just one thermostat but if you have DSG or whatever Audi you have another thermostat over there it looks like connection pipe so just remember uh, replace both because if you replace one one probably you have anyway issue for temperature so best id genui part mm, this is a couple of pound more but i believe it's better better do this so manual one thermostat automatic gearbox to thermostat we start change oil so we have flush liquid moly and we take off cover all right guys it's uh, we clean the here before we put something make sure it's dirt no come to engine and we take first that guy we clean engine liquid mule flush 20 25 producent say 15 minutes but i like 20 25 minutes work on this one and clean engine before change oil pop here and we clean here Start the engine for 25 minutes. All right, guys, filled fuel filter. It is under the car. It's life no easy. So we need to take this this guy off. Last owner changed the filter, put a wrong way uh, cover, try do a good job, you know, like this one. 
So I take cover now because car work 25 minutes and I try to take this guy out. Okay, car seat room, clean, fuel filter it's here. So like I'm saying, you need to take cover. So we need to take this bracket off and we have access to filter. No leak, nothing big deal. So we have a different clamp here, but as well, no big deal, important, no leak. That bracket very rust. <laughs> and last year I replaced that connection exhaust, but already look very rusty, but still okay. So I take this bracket off, maybe first oil. And last owner, change filters. Like you see, it's cover, but this guy it's broke, so still keep the cover. But like you see, that one should be connection together, a cover, but is broke, and now come off. So it's no big deal, but life. Maybe one day I'm replace this one. Now we change the oil. On the future, guys, if you think maybe my fuel pump high pressure or in the tank have a problem, that sensor you screw off and you have tiny filter there and you look how dear it is inside or inside the hole. If you have here metal little shite this means it's your fuel system be to replace no good okay guys time is gone 25 minutes i uh, spray here white grease and clean make sure it's a uh, bonnet of a nice so switch off engine drain oil right guys so 19 loose and just remember, it is hot, really hot. You burn DPF, you, you use uh, flash, it is hot. So we just watch out, I have mud here. So we change the... Bolt drain oil bolt every time should be replaced are you ready mm. ah! that's why i'm use mat Okay, all I drain here, so good, good, good. We go to upstairs, take filter, fuel, uh, fuel, oil filter. Socket 42 filters over there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So. Don't put new bolt over there before you take filter out because some oil as well come out. See guys, filter out, but oil is still going from filter, so we wait. It's new bolt for oil. I'm like replace every time when I change oil because Audi Volkswagen say like that. If you don't replace, no big deal, probably no leak, but I like to. So it is new. Guys, it's 
plug come back new one so we take now filter check inspection any thing inside any dirt any anything and we put new filter and we put filter back we look dear or shiny if shiny this mean no good it should be black so we check filter inside like I'm saying any dirt any shine here it's everything perfect so three o-ring one two three that o-ring should be replaced make sure it's orange nice smooth on we put oil here as well when you put back make sure it is nice and it's smooth made in German click Filter come back to housing. So 5W30 long life. Long life, this means it's uh, between 30, 35,000 kilometers replaced. Don't do this because you kill the engine. So every 10,000 mile, 10,000 kilometers, 7000 my I like change anyway I'm change quicker because my car one time I else replace oil no mileage but anyway 5w30 long life so ceramic protection liquid molly as well go last heels as well I'm put on anyway I like every else do this if you love your engine, your engine so happy if you put that stuff. So if I'm good member, it's four and a half liter for that engine come. So we put four and Ceratec, then we check the level. Okay, empty cans and put oil in because one bottles but I put oil in make sure it's everything go to end because that stuff is good Okay, time for fuel filter. One screw here, and this bracket can come down.
nghe luôn biệt Nie robsko się wleje. Diesel, diesel. Okay, we take new filter and make sure guys it's um, flow this way and do you remember guys new filter should be this, this way when go to engine clips off Take copper grease and clean every thing here and put copper grease before I put cover back. Have fuel injector machine cleaner and uh, so it's free hose small one come back this is low pressure these two guys it's high pressure so we need to put a pipe and put pressure here and uh, liquid moly fluid injector here so when I finish I'm showing you guys so this bottom this is Audi A6 C7 so bottom hose it's come in so this is high pressure like you see white and blue yellow it's smaller smaller go here it's the return line as well then go for return line it is filters then connection in one and go to pump that pump costs probably 700 to 70 pounds or something that we put um, liquid moly stuff and we need compressor. Guys, like you see, that guy's fuel back to fuel tank, as well filter its uh, fuel. This guy, fuel filter, I'm uh, take off because leaking. And this moment, car run 
just on that chemical so we wait and check maybe leak no leak at all it is good so we take cover back clean the tools so it's second can it is in so nice and work okay guys so fuel almost end so engine probably soon stop and we pull back together like you see it's no fuel okay back put together like you see it's cover back like here exactly as should be here as well absolutely perfect on the future next years I need to put on the list when I'm change filters the clips because know very well but this is next years everything come back I need to start engine check the oil level we don't have dipstick here so and uh, here it's cover back so I cleaned this mess and almost finished so I dropped that type of in fuel screen for back remove remove insert and different shape So okay guys, almost finished, uh, brake fluid should be changed on this car, but uh, in transport it is uh, damaged, so and no brake fluid, anyway it's quite, um, quite late and I'm finished, uh, what I can say uh, about fuel clean injector uh, cleaner, so it's uh, very good but you need uh, the machine and uh, compressor to do that and as well some uh, diagnostic tools when fuel finish check engine light and I have low pressure fuel because finish in container so I'm delayed that code that no problem for me but may you need as well delayed or finish switch off when product finish then you um, don't have code uh, check left, but quite stupid. We need to wait two minutes. What's uh, what happened if no oil in there? <laughs> Better know. Okay, I'm delayed the code and uh, start clean the rest rubbish and uh, go around check and everything nice and smooth work. Okay, fuel filter next time because it's close and I can see what's happening. My plan is uh, blow air for that way and see what adhered and what's happened there. Can my fuel in the tank it's good or not? At this moment I left that because I'm half enough. Just uh, hide in the shed. Okay, guys, so I can check the oil level. No dipstick. I'm hate. I need buy dipstick. <coughs> but anyway, uh, cars finish. Fuel filter. Next time I'm push air and show you everything. <coughs> but at this moment I'm finished. Just I'm try check the fuel level, uh, oil level, and uh, what I can say: passion, love, and family. Just back family. So. See you later, see you next time.